I've had some pretty amazing moments with my client's dogs this last month and I just wanted to share some of that with you. Our first one here today is Joey. We got a collar on Joey. What's the significance? Okay, so Joey came to us from a drug house. We've recently started working with him. His owners have never been able to pick him up, put anything on him. So he only lives in the home and in the backyard. He's never been able to experience anything else in life. Part of his trauma comes from home surgical procedures at an age that definitely shouldn't have happened, if ever at all. Joey is a very smart and a very sweet boy, and it was such an amazing moment to get this collar on him. In fact, me and the owners both cried. Our second one is this dog. I do talk about this dog a lot because she is my dog. This month, she's been able to meet a maintenance man that has come into the home without any kind of warning. He just walks into the house, and she was very happy to just greet him and get some treats from it. Following up with that, she was able to go into a public place to get a reward and meet some people without interacting with them, and we stayed within 10 feet of another dog and she had no reactions. She suffers from fear-based reactivity and CPTSD form of dogs. And this one is Everett. Everett and I have been working together for a while because he has a list of things that he suffers from, including fence fighting, leash reactivity, fear-based reactivity, and uncertainty in the world, which causes chronic anxiety. Now his treatment program has changed a lot over the years, but his achievement is now he's able to go to a daycare that me and his mom have found, and he doesn't have any issues with the gates, the leashes, the other dogs. He's allowed to just hang out and not take anything too seriously. He even comes home tired, exhausted, covered in other dogs' slobber, no incident reports, and it's such an amazing thing. He's even moving to more of a self-led program with him and his mom, where I simply just give them their directions for the month and check in with them as needed. It's not just limited to these dogs. We've had so many great options here with French K9, but I do want to let people know that if you're in the Washington State area, I do offer mobile pet services. This is going to be dog walking, pet sitting, pet check-ins, dog training, reactivity treatment, as you see in most of those clients I just showed you, behavior evaluations, and all sorts of other good things. So if you need any help with your pet, I am a professional, and I do have my own personal business, and I don't have a big guy to answer to, so I'm pretty flexible in what I'm able to do. If you have any questions, you're always more than welcome to go to my website it's frenchk9.com otherwise i do hope you just enjoyed the pictures of the dogs and i hope to be posting more